Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be making a funky loop bow with tails. It can't just be any funky loop bow. We're going to be making one with tails today. And the focal point of the bow will be this Trolls print ribbon. And I believe that I got this from Tutu the Moon. Someone correct me if I am wrong. Um, I do have a haul. I'll have to go back and check, but I think this is some crystals ribbon. Um, but yeah, I got this and I've got this super shiny rainbow print and I believe I got them at the same time. I can't remember you guys, but yes, we are going to be making a funky loop bow with tails. Uh, the loopy part, we're going to be using the troll print. I've also got a neon green and a bubblegum pink. All of these are 7 8 inch ribbons. And like I said, for the tails, we're going to be using this super cute rainbow print. And it is a one and a half inch ribbon. And I'm also going to be pairing it with a black, just a solid black uh, grow grain. And it also, this is one and a half inch ribbon. Uh, so that's going to be for our tails. Some of the other stuff that I might be working with, but I'm not sure yet. I've got some corkers. Um, I might be using this, or these, uh, I'm sorry, for the filler in the loopy bow. I've also got some rickrack in uh, different colors. We've got some teal and some turquoise, purple, pink. So yeah, that might be for the filler of our bow. I've also got some rhinestone mesh that I haven't really worked with in, uh, gosh, probably five years. I don't know, we might put some of this um, on the bow some way or another, I don't know. And I've also got some tool. We might be adding this to our funky loop bow. All right, other things that we're gonna be working with today that you might need to grab. Of course, you'll need a needle and thread, upholstery thread preferred, um, clips, you might need those just to help you hold things in place. Of course, we'll need our lighter. We will need some scissors, sharp scissors. You'll need your clip that you're going to be putting your bow on. And also today, we are going to be working with popsicle sticks. Yes, I said popsicle sticks. But don't go in there and eat a popsicle and use that stick. <laughs> we don't want sticky sticks. Um, these are from the craft section at Walmart. You can get them pretty much anywhere. That and you get the, ah, I just dropped that one. You can get the wide ones or you can get like the normal old popsicle sticks. Um, but I think I'm going to be using the smaller one today. So yeah, those are, of course you'll need your glue gun. Get your glue gun. Um, anything else? I don't think we need anything else right now. Oh. You're stiff and quick. If you're going to be using a uh, stiffener, you can get stiff and quick or your hairspray or um, your liquid starch, whatever, whatever you want to use. But we will need that today. So um, yeah, go ahead and grab all your supplies and we will get started. First things first, let me tell you the measurements that I am using for my hair bow today. I am working with 29 inches of this rainbow print. This is going to be my tails. It's going to be behind my loopy bow and like I said 29 inches and this is a one and a half inch in width ribbon. So I'm using 29 inches of that. I'm using 18 inches of a solid black grow grain and again this is one and a half inches wide and it's going to be paired up with my tails and I'll share that little detail with you later. Now for the loopy hair bow we are going to be using this troll print and I'm using two pieces of that and all four of these pieces measure 18 inches uh, in length and they are 7 8 inch in width. So again I'm using two of uh, the troll print, two pieces of that one on um, each side and then in the middle I'm going to have this bubblegum pink and this neon green. So those are going to go in the middle. So four pieces of that, 7 8 inch and they are all 18 inches. And those are the measurements that I'm working with. The first thing that we are going to do, we're going to make half a surround a bow. So I've got my black, that black piece of ribbon which is 18 inches long 
I'm going to seal both ends just like we would if we were making a surround bow. Both of the ends. I'm going to fold it in half and I'm going to find my center. You want to crease it really good or you can run your lighter right there in the middle. So you open it up and you can see that crease. All right, we're going to go ahead and form a surround a bow, just one part. You'll want to form your loop. And remember, your loop comes right here. Line it up with your crease in the center. And we're going to put some glue right there. So go ahead and form your loop. And it goes right there along the crease. And then, of course, you'll want to glue it down. You can glue them down with hot glue, Fabri-Tac, whatever you want to. I'm just going to put just a little glue here and glue it down. You want to make sure it's good and straight too. Don't worry about the glue. We'll take care of that in just a minute. All right, there is the first loop. Now do the exact same thing on the other side and you want it to line up right beside. Don't go over top, just right beside. You want a line in the middle, just a very thin line right there in the middle. There's a line you can't hardly see, but there it is. All right, so I'm just going to glue this down, and then we'll be done with the first part. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my little alligator pinch clips, and I'm going to come to the center of my surround bow just to hold them down good and flat. I'm going to hold them down right there in the middle. And there's what your first half of the bow looks like. I'm going to take my stiff and quick and I'm going to spray this really good. We want it good and stiff and then I'm going to set this aside and work on the next part. Part two, we're going to take that rainbow print ribbon, we're going to fold it in half, just like we did in the surround a bow technique. Find the crease, take your lighter, just run it along. Now you can open it up and you'll see that line. Now we're going to be forming our loops. You want to come over here and form a loop and put it right up against your crease line. Now, this is where you are going to have to determine how wide you want your loops to be because we're also working with a tail. So, if you want to make it larger, just move your tail up, but make sure you're right there on that line. All right, I think that is what I am going for. Maybe a little bit more. I think that's, that's a long tail. That's, that's what I'm going for. All right, so now I'm just going to take a little clip and hold it in place, and I'm going to come back here and I'm going to glue, glue it down. And again, you can make your loops as wide as you want them to be, but just remember, you want to make sure you leave enough for your tail. All right. Now we're going to do the exact same thing on the other side, but let me let me share with you how to get everything even, how to get your loop even with this one. Come over here, form a loop, put it right up against it, and then put your tail down. See, that that right there means my loops are uneven. So I'm just going to push my loop up until I am even with my tail right there. Now we have two pretty even loops because our tails match up. All right, so I'm just gonna hold that down. And again, I'm gonna come back here and I'm gonna add some glue and um, make sure it's sticking in place. All right, make sure everything is lined up over here though and straight. All right, now since this ribbon is not like a full grow grain, I am not going to spray it because it is, it's pretty durable as it is. So I'm not gonna spray this, but I am going to leave my clips right here until that glue 
fully dries. All right, but that is part number two. And now we can set this aside for a moment and we are going to take care of our clip. Okay, I'm working with the French barrette, so I'm going to open it up and remove the middle part. Now I've got this like a turquoise print 3 8 inch ribbon. I am going to be lining my um, barrette with a little glue and I'm going to be putting my ribbon right there on top. Make it look pretty. This has got like a, a glitter, like a shimmer to it. Alright, I think I cut too much, but that's okay. Alright, just going to pull it through and we're going to glue the inside right here on the back. Again, if you are comfortable using a alligator clip, totally up to you. Let me clip this just a little bit because we don't need that much. I'm just going to weave it back through and on top. And then you'll glue it down to the top, just like that. Then you can trim the excess and just be sure to heat seal that little piece because it can start unraveling on you. All right, so we have wrapped our clip. We are ready to roll. Moving right along, now we're going to be making our loopy bow. You want to line all of your ribbons. Um, on top of each other, make sure they're straight. And like I said, I've got the troll print, one on each side. Make sure they're lined up, uh, meaning that they match too. They're going the same direction. And then I've got the pink and the green in the middle. All right, I'm going to take the end and just leave maybe an inch hanging and we're gonna crease right here. Now you're going to take your needle and thread. I've got a needle right here. And we're going to go and we're going to tie that off. But I'm going to sew through it. And it's going to be hard because it's a thick ribbon. There we go. All right. You want to sew through it and secure it. Remember to leave that inch hanging off of the side. This is a thick needle, y'all. All right, there we go. All right, so now I'm just going to take it and wrap it around, and then I'm going to secure it. All right, don't clip your needle and thread just yet. It should still be on the end there. All right, let me put that to the side for just a moment. I'm gonna take my popsicle stick, and remember I'm working with that smaller one, and I'm going to just line it with this blue ribbon. You don't have to do that, but I'm just extra, I guess. All right, so I am going to line now we're not going to be using this whole popsicle stick. We are going to cut it. So and I'm going to go ahead and line it, the whole thing, with the 3 8 inch um, blue ribbon. Like I said, it's not necessary. It'll, I guess it will also help prevent from getting any splinters. All right. I'll just trim off this. I don't know why I'm doing that, but I am. All right, so there is our popsicle stick right there. So now you want to take your ribbon and your needle and thread. And what I did was I glued my ribbon pieces down on top of the popsicle stick 
on the blue part, the one right there. And then I took my needle and thread and I went around it a few times and secured it, you know, weave in and out. And then I just stuck a little bit of hot glue right here to the back and pressed down. So now this is not going to go anywhere. All right, so now it is secured to our popsicle stick. All right, now we're going to start forming our loops. You're going to take your ribbon, make sure all the pieces are together. You're going to come up and form a loop, but you want to make sure you push really tight to the end. So there is our first loop, and I'm going to do a total of three loops, so three stacks of loops, and they all need to be the same height as the first one. All right, so every time you get your loop, you want to press it tight up against the back. Take your needle and your thread, and you're going to wrap around the loops and the popsicle stick. Do that a few times. Don't forget to pull tight. And when you get to the back, you can take your needle and your thread and go in and out just so that stays. All right, so again, we are going to do three sets of loops. So just bring the next set up, measure, push tight against the last set, see? And then take your needle and thread and go around until you have all three loops just like this is how it should look. Three sets of loops. Just make sure you secure them tight with your needle and your thread. I used way too much thread on my first loops. I had to come in here and re-thread some more just so I can finish my last loop. All right, let me go ahead and get it even. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to just take it and wrap. And as you wrap, you want to pull. And don't worry because we have a thick thread. And then I'm just going to come in the back. And I'm going to weave my way back up to the front. I made such a mess on the back with my thread, but don't worry about this part because we are going to cover it up and I'm going to be covering this up with a 3 8 inch ribbon. So just glue that down and we won't be able to see it, especially if you're a messy person like I am. All that's because I had to go back in there and re-thread and use... Um, more thread. All right, so I'm just going to cover that up. Let's see, I'm gonna clip this. All right, here is what the other side looks like. There's your three stacks of loops, and we also have a couple of tails, and we're just going to trim these up. Um, I need to determine how wide I need this to be because we're also going to be cutting the popsicle stick. But that's what your three sets of loops will look like. We're going to go ahead and take those apart in just a minute. But again, cover up any ugliness <laughs> that you may have on the bottom and it'll take care of that and you won't need to see it. I think I decided we're going to go with four inches for now. So I went ahead and trimmed up both of the ends, the ribbon, here's the excess, um, I'll probably trim up a little bit more later. Now, what I did next was I cut the popsicle stick. You want to come in the back and just trim off the excess, just like I did here. And to do this, you definitely don't use your good scissors. Um, I used a pair of old scissors. You can also use some wire cutters. So I just trimmed it off and yeah, now we can put this 
on our tailpiece. But first, we are going to go ahead and make our funky loopy bow. And this part, you know, is the fun part. You can, you know, put as much or as little in between here as you want. And like I said, I've got corker pieces and I got rickrack. And I might do some little tool puffs. I really haven't decided. I guess I'm just going to wing it. But first, we're going to take our loops apart. And remember, you want your troll heads, one on each side. So we know those are going to be like, like that. And then these pieces are going to be in the middle. So you'll have four loops. And you just want to take and tug until all of your loops are out. And that's pretty much it for right now. Let me go ahead and tug on our loops and pull them out. And to do that, you can just take your, your thumbs and your fingers and just pull. Just give it a tug. All right, so just tug. Tug it. Now, after you tug on your loops, remember it's not going to be perfect just yet because we're still working on it. I'm going to set that aside and now I'm going to put my little stacks of filler together. And like I said, I'm using um, some corker pieces and some brick rack. And all I did was just took a bunch of little filler, put them together, and tied them in the center. Just make little bundles and we're going to be using two bundles so you want to make them pretty full not too full but full enough and we are going to be putting them right here in between the folds of the loops we're just going to be taking some thread and working them in so go ahead and make your bundles like i said this can be Anything that you want to use. I've just got corker pieces and rickrack. Tie them together in bundles and then we're going to start inserting them into the loops. As you can see, I'm still trying to fluff mine and I'm adding more filler, but you just want to fluff everything up. After you add your filler, um, your corker and your rickrack or whatever other ribbons you're going to add to the middle, I highly suggest to go ahead and spray it with your Stiff and Quick before you add any tool. If you're going to be working with tool or marabou or um, like a ostrich uh, puff or anything like that, you don't want to add this and then spray it because this will become a sticky mess. So go ahead and spray everything after you have fluffed it up and you know put all your pieces together before you add lace, tool, marabou, anything like that. Everything is good and dry and stiff. I've sprayed it fluffed it. Now I'm just finishing up with the extra touches. I'm adding tulle, but I also added some of that rhinestone mesh to a couple of the loops, as you can see. And to do that, all I did was cut off just a square, actually a rectangle. Um, this is two lines. And I put a little bit of glue on each end of the mesh and just pressed it down on those two loops and I think it looks cute but now I am adding my tool um, so what I do to make a tool puff I've got a tutorial for this by the way I'll leave a link down below in the descriptions box but you just want to take uh, your tool I'm using a six inch roll by the way and you just want to wrap it um, like three four times now you can wrap it around like a business card or a square um, template of your choosing, 
but this measures about four inches in length and of course I'm not going to need four inches I am going to take my scissors and I'm going to trim it up after I put it in my bow so I'm just going to go around you can go around your hand but um, you'll just need about four inches and I'm going to trim this off and you'll have a little piece like this then you just want to fold it in the middle make a bow and we'll tie this with some thread got some thread right here and then we are going to trim it all right so i'm going to tie this get this thread off Okay, so now you'll want to come right here and go in between these loops, get in the middle, and you're going to take your scissors and you're just going to trim. Just open it up. There's some excess. So just come on the other side, go in the middle, open it up, and then all we're going to do is we're going to fold it. Fold it in half. And then you'll have like a little a little tool puff now what I'm gonna do with this see I folded it I'm gonna add some glue right here and then I'm just going to take it and I'm gonna press it down where I want it in between those loops press it really good and then once you get it in you can take your scissors and come and trim it up so it's um, uniform with everything else. All right, so again, just fold it in half, add a little bit of glue, press it where you want it to go, make sure it's dry, and then come and trim it. The loopy bow is complete. I added that tool. Here is what it looks like. It's fluffed and ready to go. Here is the back. Now I'm gonna put this aside and remember earlier when we lined our clip now we're going to put our that half a surround bow and our tail piece we are going to put those two pieces together and i'm going to come and i'm going to glue right here and i'm going to place the two together you want to make sure that everything is lined up just like that and then we are going to sew it to the clip so I'm just going to put a little glue. I did this earlier, but I did not have the camera on, so that's why you see some of the metallic. <laughs> All right, so I'm just going to place my tail piece inside of my surround bow. Remember, line that middle up. That's very important because we're going to need that middle when we sew this to the clip in just a minute. All right, so now these two parts are together. Now we're gonna take our clip. You're gonna take your needle and thread, which I've already threaded. I'm going to come back here, get this, line that back up. All right, now I'm going to add my clip. I'm gonna glue it first, and then we're gonna sew this around the clip and I'll show you what I mean in just a moment. Let me make sure that's lined up even. All right. So I'm just gonna put some hot glue on my clip. Press it down. Make sure it's snug. Yeah. All right, so now I'm gonna take, I'm gonna come in here in the middle and I'm gonna sew right below the clip. You wanna go from the front to the back. All right, so I'm gonna come up and then I'm going to wrap it around over the clip and then we're going to 
come back through the back to the front. We're just going to secure this clip with thread. Do you see what I'm doing? All right, so do that a few times. See, now we're back in the front. We're gonna take it and we're gonna go back in the back. Front to back, back to front. All right, see, I'm bringing it back up and then I'm gonna go over the clip, stick it right back there. And we're gonna come right back up. And we're just securing this to the clip because we're not going to ribbon wrap today because we're going to add the loopy bow. All right, now I'm going to tie it off right here in the back. Here's what the back of our bow looks like. See the thread over the clip? All right, we're going to cover this up with some 3 8 inch ribbon. So just take your glue gun, add a little bit of glue, and put a strip of ribbon right there. And it will cover up that thread and secure it a little bit better. All right. Pesky blue. Now you can add your clasp and close it. All right, turn it over and now we're going to glue the funky loopy bow right here in the center. All right, I made my loopy bow four inches wide, just wide enough to go in the center of my tails. Now, if yours is too wide at this point, take your hand and just kind of crunch around it just like this and kind of make it make it just a little shorter but you want to make sure you're not losing that that rounded shape all right now you're going to take the back of your loopy bow right here on the popsicle stick that we covered with ribbon add a generous amount of glue and we are going to glue it right in the center And if you happen to be one of those worry warts like I am, and you don't think that the glue is going to hold your bow um, as good as you would like it to, you can always take your needle and thread and find uh, one of the gaps right here where we stuffed our fillers and just go in and out with your thread, just like we did with the surround bow and the tail parts. Just go around the clip again, but just make sure you go right here through the center of your loopy bow. We are now finished with our loopy bow with tails. The last step, of course, is to make sure our tails have been heat sealed. Very important. We don't want anything fraying. The only extra thing that I did, I added a cute little accent bow with the troll print ribbon, and I will leave a link down below in the descriptions box uh, for a tutorial on how to do your own accent bows. They are very, very easy. And I just glued it right up here at the top of my bow with tails, just right there on the edge. But that's all it is to it. If you guys decide to make one, be sure to tag me. I would love to see them, and I will see you in the next video.